To install, go to Edit, Preference. Locate the zip file and install. Add-on panel is on the right side. Create some curve objects. Select the target curve. Before apply a profile to it, there are several categories to choose from. Click apply, a pre-made mesh will populate along the curve. Previous and next buttons, will cycle through in the respective category. Same process for any other curves. Scale slider will universally scale the mesh object. Squash slider will scale the mesh perpendicular to the curve direction. Stretch slider will scale the mesh along the curve direction. Segment count slider will increase or decrease length. Offset slider will offset the starting point of the mesh on the curve. Rotation will rotate mesh around the curve. And those sliders only work when the profile mesh is selected. For the curve end cap, there are same categories to choose from. Flip end, will switch mesh to other end of curve. Both end, will duplicate the selected mesh to the both side. All meshes can be independently adjusted. Segment count won't have effect on end cap meshes. If the curve shape is adjusted, for the end cap mesh, manually click update will adjust its position accordingly. For the flip end, and duplicate both end to work, a curve proxy is used. When done with the curve, click finalize selection to clean up the extras. The curve profiles use linked mesh data. Click finalize selection will make it unique for further editing. At any given time, you can switch to different category to choose the curve profile. To add your own custom mesh to the mix, open the source blend file in your add-on folder. I will add a simple cube as an example. Select the category your mesh belongs to. Match your mesh X direction as the curve direction. And select the type, is it a mesh to form a tube, or is it an end cap? Save the blend file and you are done adding your own. Open a new scene. Add profile to curve. You will see your custom mesh in the relevant category. That is it. Hope it will speed up your modeling workflow.